Methane is a greenhouse gas, one of the most potent. Other industrial disasters may have been more severe, but Oceanova was groundbreaking, like you said. It could be years before we know all the consequences. We might never understand the ecological impact. It was very expensive, and 19 people died. Like it or not, you're the human face of all this. So what do you say to your critics? I believe in what we were doing. But was it worth the cost? engineer, you're a problem solver, you value logic and precision. You talk a lot about times, distances, values, and yet there were some challenges you couldn't solve. Numbers are easy. It's people that are complex. Numbers bring things into focus. No gray areas to distract you from getting things into perspective. Does it get easier answering all the same questions? Now, people ask all kinds of questions. What they ask says a lot about their character. 
especially when it comes to casualties. So what's the response when they do ask about the gory details? I oblige. See which way they want to take it. I mean, what people don't get is that they don't want me to keep going. Not really. There's only so much blood and guts people can take before they lose their appetite. Everyone has their limits. You're very candid when describing some circumstances. Times when you felt crippled with fear, coming across the bodies of friends and colleagues. Yeah. It's clear you care, but there's an undercurrent of detachment in the way you present some of the more difficult moments. Was that your intention? No, I, I've heard that before. I just did my best to paint a clear picture. When it comes to empathy, there's no manual for that.
I have to ask again. Was it luck? Conditioning. Conditioning and discipline. It's how I got down there in the first place. And that's how I got out. It's about keeping tethered to the task. You don't let yourself forget about the reality around you. You can't. You saw terrible things. And even if you made it to the surface, you couldn't count on being rescued. I mean, I'd have lost my mind. Did you ever feel like you were losing it just a little? No. When they found me, I'd been floating on the surface for at least five hours. I talked with therapists and trauma experts for months. Said I was hiding the hurt. But it's not true. I made mistakes down there, yes, but did I lose my mind? No. No way.
experience is defined by the fact that you came back alone. Your story started with 20 people, but ends with one. So when it comes to telling those stories, you're the only one who can. Yeah. There's a responsibility to get things right for the record.
Welcome back to Open Air. I'm Emily Kaler. If you're just joining us, my guest is Kip Mattis, sole survivor of the Oceanova disaster. His first book, Hell or High Water, is a harrowing account of his ordeal. Earlier, we talked about the life aquatic, escaping the flooded habitat, and being lost on the seafloor inside a half-ton titanium diving suit. Kip, I know this might not be easy, but I'd like to talk about the end. Can you read that for us? Yeah. The list is getting shorter. The hatch opens with its usual reluctance, flooding the room with light. The pod is there. I'm going home. Tomorrow I'll be the sole survivor. But for now, I'm not alone. How did you feel when you figured it out? At that point, and that close, I was running on fear. So when I saw another suit in the room, it's almost too much to process. I couldn't believe that it was... Virgil made it, just like me. How did you get? I thought everyone was... Only I'm locked inside the pod, and he's locked out. Can you hear me? I can't stop the launch. There's no override. He's not coming back. Oh, God. I'm sorry. And that's on me. There is a second to So are you saying that if you did something differently, that Virgil would have lived? That's right. Until I saw him, fear in his eyes, I thought I was the only one. It was a bad call. This can't be happening. Three, two, one. Oh God, I'm sorry. Commencing. You didn't kill him. Really? Who did? Bad luck? I'm responsible. Look, I'm up here talking with you. And he's still out there. 